Insurrection of the Liminals. For days we scrambled on the forehead of St. Catherine, searching for titles to poems. Within our mere cacophonic jack and apes, we went on aggravating violence over the trouble cleft notes of Azaro's homeworks to admonish music, says emaciated navishes, distilling our eyes, sequences laughter, our duration breeze, the color of unsequestered luminal, vehicularing the ominous for purge full of degenerate ashlings, we wretched cannibals for Dionysus and played for a pagan turntable. Then decreed, inventing the first year, citadel of galud hegemonies of the atomic state, decarceralizing vicissitudes out of being recaltrent to go to Bergsonian art wreck, an altar of wise and never slaughtered conundrums, especially the photographical gouging of Tacana cigars. Do not think linery on swallowing cell phones in one dragonous kettle gulp while on selfie mode and acerbic eviscerations. Tongues swore up in vitamized eyes, balms lemony. While we contest the apparition drama of the meta-burning hum, we spoke in cigar and suffocated ids in graffito languages, the latest avant-garde. Counterbalanced, counterarmed, counterenced. We did not sulk and acetate clock lines but buried all the linear dulcimers, the circle clock, the mustache Italian waiter whitening reached the balloon fried friend's ankle. We concede as stowaways and uvum's cortexes. Now Janice faced, now we topologically spent the ego's money in the rain. These leafly petals, bunch sod and fist palms allegorical. We diluted sanguine pigments, Upon gaps in Roman urns that outlived their spirit. Aesthetically, we sublimed at all macro and micro levels. Then the first sip of dawn instituted the incandescent fury cry, the sun escaped Hadesian space void. We offered offerings of Codex Scry babies to the abattoir attractions of both Jupiter and Poseidon's harlots. I buried my own Arda in a clavicle of the Venetian lagoon. We were in sipping cups of dark. We were escapees of air. Have you ever been to the blur? Sutured suffagi caught my excellent, and they did mine. These abandoned signifers, fading frescoes from shadows of tourists cut by cameras, existential exams, mock the senatory dust realm and olfactory glows. The catacombs were satisfactory dirges to crown ourselves. On marvelous chest brick, we scraped poems that did not stop, which were indexed to be written and not read.